I don't have the experience. No, no, you got one. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, if you like someone, you like someone. Yeah. You know? When love is love. love is love, you know, it's like you don't have to categorize it. Yeah. Diba? If you're given the chance with a happy ending, why not? Sa sa generation now, no? gender fluid They don't look at the gender, they just look at the person. Yeah. Ganun na At yun din, sabi mo kanina, um, it's like, is the relationship good for you? That's, at the end of the day, if, it, if, if that person uplifts you, makes you happy, you know, it's not a toxic relationship. You become a better person because of your partner, then, you that's know, the person. That's the person. Then that's the right person. Nice. Mm-hmm. Last night, I'm going to be messaging you some more. I'm going to be messaging you some more. You're upset. 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 The, yung goal ka na yun yung season na guys to open all open the viewers up sa iba't ibang klase ng experiences hindi lang sa relationships pero sa buhay ng iba't ibang klase na so even if I can't change your mind I just hope that you see some things differently for 20 minutes and then they will back with you sila na lang dahil magmuhul <laughs> Perfect na raw yung sagot ni Direk Stamper yung sabi nila. Uh, before we go to the next one, Direk, I have a question. Kasi ang nagiging contest sa mga BL series or BL movies and girls love series and movies is that bakit hindi daw mga gay or LGBT actors in the cast? I know they were your first choice and they were your only choice pero dapat pa ganun as a director when you're doing uh, 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 a, a story or a project like this, kailangan LGBT actors na talaga. As someone, because for my second film, I actually cast open gay uh, individuals for the key roles. Right. Actually, for the support cast of Sleep With Me, I cast members of the LGBT right. to play the support roles. Um, unfortunately, if I did what I did, none of you were in my in the press conference. <laughs> so it's still I understand the value and the merit of having uh, members of the LGBT plus community play those roles and I advocate for it. I right. recommend it. Right. But also I on the other side of things, I understand the value and the merit of having stars like Lovey and Kim use their platforms to tell these kinds of stories. So, you know, not one thing is wrong, not one thing is right. Right. For me, at the end of the day, as long as you get to tell your story well and tama at wala kang nasasaktan. Kasi yung iba, yung problem dun is straight directors, straight screenwriters, straight actors. There's no gay person on set to tell them what they're doing. Yes, ta ka sa Right. So, yeah, yun yung problem, I think. At the right, end of right. Pero tama yung sabi mo, kasi nga, malaki ang influence and reach nilang dalawa. And we can use that to send the message across. Yeah, as in, di ba, parang, imagine the conversations we will, the people will be having sa mga bahay nila. Di ba? When they see. Something like this oh, is showing right. on Taiwan, na it's lovely and genuine, di ba? Imagine nyo yung impact na yun sa mga buhay ng mga young people na in the closet pa or hindi pa tanggap yung sayo nila. Totoo. 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 I'm so thankful to... Lovey and Janine to do this game. For saying Iowa. yes. For saying Just, yes. Yeah. For sleeping with you in the project. Aaron, uh, see them next. Yes, MJ, our next set of questions will come from M. Enriquez of Preview Magazine. Hi. Hi, Anne. Thank you for coming. Of course. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so killing. Okay. So, 
Hi there, Sam. Love you, Janine. Um, uh, love you. Congrats on Flower of Evil. Yes, I've been watching. I've been watching. I'm a fan of the original K drama. Yeah. And then Janine, the last uh, screening slash press when I went to was for me and Kaya. Yeah. So a big fan, big fan. So um, there's been a lot of questions about the uh, pagiging lesbian story niya. Pero at uh, ako ito nung ko. Gusto ko naman pagdunan yung disabilities. So, what challenges did you guys face, or how did you prepare for the role now for Janine, who's um, so far from the trailer, you know, a physically disabled, and then for Lovey, who just revealed that she has a chronic uh, uh, disability? Yes. Boops. Go. Go preview, man. <laughs> preview girl for life, Chara. Um, Yeah, actually, that was um, what I really wanted to prepare for more than being a lesbian. It was being a wheelchair user. Because, of course, I want to play it in a convincing way. And, um, yun, be as authentic as possible to the character and what she would be in real life if Harry existed. And there are Harrys who exist. So, Sam was we very... Spoke to, yes, we spoke to si Kat. Um, I, well, actually, Sam lang. I just watched the recording. But, um, it was really helpful because it's literally life from another point of view. Being a wheelchair user, as in magiiba talaga yung yung life mo, um, especially in the Philippines where accessibility is like so bad. And I hope that's something din na realize ng maraming tao na we have such a long way to go in the Philippines to be accessible for all kinds of people. Um, and yon, I was with my wheelchair maybe like a week or two weeks before the shoot so paggabi nag iikot ako sa bahay sa village i i would watch so many videos on youtube even the simple things that um we might not even think of like how do you get on your bed things like that yun yung mga gusto namin ni direct na ma portray in a very convincing way so i hope we pulled it off i love you about your character and her um Condition. Um, the condition because of Luna, it's not something that's physical. So, um, mabilis siyang ma-judge ng ibang tao because, um, like we, sinabi din sa kwento that, oh, baka party ka ng party because they always think that she goes out a lot and she just drinks and all, not knowing that she has a certain condition. So, I think, um, in preparations ko, it's, basically reading the articles um, that Sam sent me and she would like give me a little tiny notes about um, Luna but it, it's hard to say because it's from someone else's point of view but I think it helped a lot that we shot everything um, uh, sa gabi. I'm such a morning person so parang in such a way na gamit ko yun. Um, yeah yeah so it, it helped a lot so if there are moments that I look tired I actually was sleepy. She's kidding. No, no, but, no, I'm kidding. No, but it's just more of like, no, it's just nice to put it out. I have a problem. Talaga nila kung paano ipapahula si Lobby kasi ang ganda niya, di ba? It's like, malaga nila na ibag si Lobby. Hindi siya nakatulog. Fresh. No, 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 but it was, um, it was nice kasi that yung ganitong klaseng kwento, hindi ko malalaman kung hindi dahil sa sleep with me. And I remember Sam mentioned nga na parang maybe there are people nga na hindi nila alam that they have this kind of condition. Eh. So if you feel like you're always up um, sa gabi and you you work well at night, you have to have yourself checked, di ba? Parang he said something like that. So yeah, so it's nice to be aware na may ganitong classing condition. Can I add to your question? Kasi why those disabilities? Why was it close to your heart to put it out and talk about it? Kasi, and why did you have to put it? Pwede naman kasing wala na eh. Pwede parang it's a normal uh, girl's love or, yeah, story. Metaphor kasi siya eh, for... Spoiler ba ako? Spoiler. Hindi, <laughs> metaphor siya for the way structures, yung mga bagay-bagay sa lipunan natin. Okay. Excluded talaga yung gays and people with disabilities. Okay. If you think about it, even the ramp thing...